what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel solar blackout gaming and i just got done playing the callisto protocol and this has got to be the most aggravating game i have ever played and that is not a word i have ever used to describe a game in my life this game was extremely aggravating to keep continuing to play if that tells you anything now this is my opinion alone and we're going to get into the details on how I came to that word aggravating. And there will be spoilers from the game ahead so you have been warned. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Alright so let's go ahead and get into how the combat system works because it don't. I can go ahead and tell you that now. Um, so the combat system, it feels like it's made for one-on-one -on -one combat where if your enemy swings at you, you can either dodge left or right. And this is the same left stick that you use to move your character outside of combat. So it's the same buttons used for different inputs during the same time. So you can move your character left during combat and it can dodge left during combat with the same button. Now sometimes the computer will misread the input and think you're just moving left when you meant to dodge left and you get hit anyways. And another problem with this combat mechanic is when you are faced with three or four enemies, you can't just dodge left or right when four people are swinging at you simultaneously. This system was made for one-on-one -on -one and I feel like they just threw five at you anyways. And certain arenas you go to do have like spinning fans, grinding gears, stuff that your enemies can fall into and it will insta-kill them immediately. I get that. It's meant to do some balancing but every time you get hit with multiple enemies there are not always these items available to you in every single corridor or room that you go into otherwise i would say it was meant to be that way but because all those factors aren't always present in every single room you go into i can't say that it was designed that way i felt like it was designed and then just kind of roughly patched up later and i really feel like that's what they did with that and number two is like the vital information on the back of your neck is barely visible especially during combat and in super dark rooms when you're moving and dodging and weaving you can barely see that little spot on the back of your neck and it turns red pretty close to right up under the halfway mark and you don't know whether you're one hit from dying or five hits away and you're good to go you can't tell and especially if you're facing like a mini boss that really comes in handy and to go right along with the combat let's go ahead and talk about the way the camera auto locks onto the enemy right in front of you because it is always facing near in a forward direction no matter what and it auto locks onto your enemy and I don't know what algorithm it uses to decide on which enemy you are trying to fight. But if you have three in front of you and you are trying to hit the one on your right, it may target the one on your left regardless of what your controller inputs are. You can hit the right button all you want. It may lock onto the guy in the middle. It makes no sense. And on top of the auto lock, if you are facing five enemies and you need to be able to see the ones on your left and it locks to something on your far right it completely cuts your eyes off from what those enemies are doing on the left of you it is a horrible design and it, it just it nothing about this combat system and the camera or anything feels like it meshes together at all and if you think that is bad Imagine every time you die because your camera wouldn't let you look or you were fighting five enemies with a one-on-one -on -one enemy mechanic. You had to watch this every single time and you are not able to skip it ever.
Now, the first time, it's like, eh, oh, okay, that's actually a pretty cool death animation. Then the second time, it's like, ah, okay, let me skip, come on, hurry up. And then uh, about the fifth or sixth time, you start seeing that same animation over and over again. Like, it, you really want to break your controller after you see that, man. It, it, it gets pretty redundant. Like in FromSoft games, it's there to remind you that you died because of lack of skill or not recognizing the pattern and there's an achievement, but when you die because the camera won't focus like you need it to, that is not the FromSoft way, my friend. And a subtle but yet frustrating thing you'll notice is if you're trying to heal, especially during mid combat now if you're outside of combat it's not going to make much difference either way but say you're about to die and you need to heal watch this animation now add a rapid attacking enemy while trying to get that animation to fit in between attacks Yeah, I don't think that was well thought out. Like, couldn't they have had like a, like a a fast heal that maybe would have healed in smaller increments? Like they do have like little pickup heals you can have, but if you want to store a heal to somewhat prepare for a fight, this is all you get. The ones you pick up are just instant. You use them, or if you have full health. You can't use any quick heals because it won't store for whatever reason. Uh, it, it, maybe if you were able to store these smaller healing devices, maybe this wouldn't be a problem. But when you use this specific heal that you're able to store in your inventory, that's how long it takes every single time. Okay, and another thing that I absolutely hate is like, say there's a puzzle in a game or something you need to figure out, but because the developers don't want you to take more than 30 seconds on whatever it is, it'll spit out a hint when it's actually just the total answer and they just called it a hint. Entry 21C. Guards on rotation. I've got to make this quick. Here's a pipe. Needs to tank. Oh, give me a hint. Oh, follow that red pipe. I, maybe I wanted to... Okay, maybe it's the red pipe I need to follow. Let's follow this pipe and see where it goes. If I'm wrong, start from scratch, go back, follow a different one. But when you're in a linear game, why even say that at all? And when you don't know what's ahead in a linear game, that's where the wow factor, the... Oh my god, I didn't expect that to happen. But when the game just spits some exposition and completely ruins the next scene for you, man, I can't stand that stuff. Of course, I'm only speaking for myself, but I feel like this can apply to a lot of gamers across the world. The gaming industry has not seen anything very original and just being consistently original in quite a long time. Now there are some original concepts and some very different ideas out there. But to just take the copy and paste button and just apply it every one sixteenth of the way from beginning to end is not what you would call original because you end up with a game that looks like this.
Okay, so basically, there's a big disconnect from companies making games down to the actual people playing the games. I feel like what's wrong here is companies are like, okay, statistically, what sells pretty successful out there? Let's take those and make sure we add that into our game. Let's make a game for good profit. Let's not make a game that a gamer of this genre will love. Let's make a game for profit instead. That that's that's what we want. We want big money, not big fans. And I just can't get with that, man. And I feel like that's kind of what happened here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they put their heart into it and it just just didn't go. I, you know, that's what I mean. But just based off looking at it, I felt like. There was a bunch of needless stuff in here. I felt like it was almost diluted. I felt like the actual gameplay, the actual core gameplay, was actually a few hours less than the actual time actually spent in the game trying to beat it because of the stuff you can't skip, the stuff it forces you to do. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that. And then the giving you hints like you can't figure nothing in this game out on your own. Oh god, that's like that's the worst. I feel like that's calling gamers like dumb. Like, oh man, uh, we don't want people not to figure that out, man. Just, just we'll we'll find a way to let them know just the, the easy way how to do it. Uh, people like me hate that, man. I like a game to challenge me just a little bit, man. Now this game was hard, but I don't think it was hard for the right reasons. That's why I call it aggravating. And I want to hear what you guys think, man. Am I wrong for feeling this way about the... Is it a good game? And I'm just... You know, maybe I'm weird. I, I have talked to a few other people. They had the exact same opinion about this game as I do. I was actually going to do good. Uh, a little bit of content on this. And I've kind of halted all production. And hey, you know what? We're just going to go back and kind of stick with... A little bit of the stuff we've been doing and a little bit of new ideas here and there and just, you know, see where we come with. But, like, I can't, you know, do content on this game knowing I dislike it like that. And I just, just, that's all there is to it, man. Well, anyways, man, I'm Solar Blackout. Thank you guys for watching and hearing me out. Uh, what do you guys think? Do y'all have a similar opinion? I know me and a few other people somehow came up with the same results with the same information and I don't feel like that that is you know coincidence at all these are the most annoying things that I could not stand about this game and it was so weird to me because like it's almost like I knew what I was getting myself into because I couldn't get the game played fast enough before people started you know kind of critiquing the game before I could even get to it so Anyways, man, this is like what I found in the game in my likes and dislikes, which obviously there was a lot of dislikes. And this is how I came to call this game aggravating. So, anyways, man, I'm Solar Blackout. Drop a comment below, tell me what y'all think. And if you like my content, just show some love. Hit that subscribe button. Shoot us a like. Goes a long ways, man, and we'll see you in the next one.